Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to create the swoop in to screen effect. In order to create this effect, you, you need two clips. One that is presenting your screen. In my case, it's a GoPro screen that is recording a time lapse. And a second clip to which you will jump into. In my case, it's a recorded time lapse. So let's add the first clip to the timeline trim it and go right to the fusion page. As you've probably noticed, uh, these two clips have different uh, aspect ratio. So in that case, I add a background node, go to image, disable auto resolution and set the full HD um, resolution the same as my timeline. Now I connect my first media to the background like that. A merge node is created automatically and connect merge to media out. Okay, let's add our second clip to the fusion. So just drag and drop it. As a next step, you need to track your screen. So uh, basically what you need to do is uh, use a planner tracker. So select the first clip, shift space and search for planner tracker and add. Okay, the problem with that is the um, screen has a lot of reflections, moving reflections. So the tracker is not handling well with this. Let me show you. So if you select only the screen and track the selected area, so set, track backward and forward. Yeah, go and forward. As you can see, the, tra the, the tracker is lost completely. This is because of the reflections. I tried several options, but it does not work. Maybe in your case, with a different uh, clip, different screen without the reflection, it will work perfectly. But in that case, you need to, uh, as a solution of that, you need to select a wider, uh, a wider range, not only the screen, uh, a wider range that is behaving the same way as the screen. In my case, that would be the whole GoPro with the mount. So let's reset our tracker. And by the way, hybrid point in this specific case worked better. So now I will select the screen and the mount. Okay. Let's track it forward. Yeah, it worked much, much better. At this point, my DaVinci Resolve crashed. This is 18.5 version beta. Maybe that's why. But the tracker worked much better if I selected uh, a wider range. Okay, so now let's uh, select a uh, planner tracker again and switch to corner pin. Then connect the second media to the tracker, select the planner tracker and correct the corners. So it's uh, perfectly over the screen. Let's preview. You might need to preview it several times so that it's smooth, uh, depending on what laptop, what uh, resources you have in your laptop. Okay, it looks good. Let's change one more thing in a planner tracker. So select the node, go to corner pin and change apply mode to screen. In that case, you will see the reflections that we had before on the uh, replace screen. It looks uh, much more realistic and natural in my opinion. So let me show you if you switch back and forth with that parameter, it will add these uh, reflections. Okay, last but not least, let's color correct the target uh, clip. So uh, select uh, the second clip in the fusion and add color corrector node. Decrease the brightness and contrast. Okay, and we are done in fusion page. You can go back to the edit page. Okay, add the second clip to the timeline. 
and trim a little bit both clips so that you are able to add a transition. Yeah, let's trim to the right, trim to the left. Go to effects, transitions and choose zoom in transition. Let's preview. Yeah, it's zooming in, but not into the screen. So go to inspector transition, disable it for now. Place the playhead where you want the zoom to begin. So for instance here and uh, keyframe the zoom. So adjust the anchor point. So it's uh, in the middle of your screen. Create the first keyframe for, for the zoom parameter and in, go to the end of the clip and increase zoom. You might need also correct the anchor point. Um, so it's in the middle, in the center of the screen. Yeah, just like that. Let's preview. Yeah, now it's zooming into the screen. One more thing, you click this icon. Yeah, let's expand some more to see more details. And select the first keyframe of the zoom. That one. And change from linear to smooth so that it creates some kind some kind of ramp effect. Okay, let's go to transitions and enable it back. And as you can see, our effect is ready. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers.